Hey, what's going on, guys? The case for black people, African Americans, whatever you want to call us. Um, since it's around the world, the, the, stati the status quo is that black people are bad, right? I mean, let's be honest. Everywhere you go, I've been, in, I've, I was blessed enough to be in a lot of countries, three continents, and uh, everywhere we, we go, it's the same thing. You know, we seen as like, you know, bad people in general. Just keeping it simple, bad people. Um. I came to the U.S. when I was 11, and I'm not gonna lie, when I first came to the U.S., I hated African Americans. I'm an African, right? Because I was like, man, why do they act like that? You know, they were always obnoxious and super cocky and arrogant and and um, always in groups. Like, they would never confront you one-on-one. -on -one. They'll always wait till like, they have at least two, three people backing them up, and then they'll confront you, take advantage. And then when you see them alone, they'll be quiet, you know, they'll be quiet. It's just, so I used to, I grew up, my first, uh, my first two, three years in America, I had mixed feelings with African Americans, you know? Some of them were really close friends of mine, but I was like the nerds and the losers and shit. And, um, oh shit. And, uh, some of them were like, I really hated because they would just come at me for no reason. So obviously, like every other 12 year old, I didn't have an open mind. I didn't have, uh, um, the social thing, the social skills that I have now. I didn't think outside the box. I judged based on what I saw, you know? I saw that they were jerks. I mean, I was in Harlem, New York. And that's where I had to learn English. So that's not a, that's not a cool place for an immigrant to go especially at, at that, that, that young of an age. So I grew up hating African-Americans. I grew up as a racist motherfucker, to be honest. You know, and it's not until I, I turned 15, 16 that I started doing more reading. I, I was reading different books and I was looking at the word in, at a different, in her perspective after my, you know, one of my closest friends died, E.J. Diaz. When he passed away, my whole life changed because I started looking at the word completely differently, you know. I realized death was, was not just something you saw on TV. Death was real. It was like in, in my backyard. And I started looking at things differently. I just started analyzing things. I got smarter. I got more intelligent. And I realized you can't judge mother. You can't judge African Americans. You can't judge black people in general. You want to know why? Let me tell you this. First of all, before you understand any race, you gotta love them. You gotta learn to love people, right? Because when you love people, that you begin to understand them. And I always like, I always say, the proof of love is the willingness to understand. The proof of love is the willingness to understand. You know, the proof that you love somebody is the fact that when they when they do something stupid, you pause and you try to understand why they're acting like that, you know? And you'd be amazed at, at the, thing, the things that, that you find. So let's look at a brief history of black people. Brief history of black people. And I say brief because we have no fucking history, right? Obviously we do, but as far as, you know, we're concerned, we have none because it's been removed from us. So not pointing fingers, not blaming anybody, you know? You gotta look at the fact that um, we were colonized, right? And one of the number one rules of colonization, you know, you ask anyone who knows history will tell you, one of the number one ways to keep a, um, a people down is to remove their history. Because when you remove somebody's history, they have no past. And if you don't have no past, you don't know where you're going. I don't care what nobody says. Without your past, you have no idea where you're going. People say, well, the past, the past, leave it behind. No, that's the opposite. You gotta know where you're coming from to know where you're going. It's like, if I, if I say you're driving right now, right? You're driving from state to state, and then you, you stop at a gas station, you get knocked the fuck out by some thug, you wake up you, and you forgot. You forgot like the last 30 minutes of your life, right? And you have no idea where you're coming from. How do you know where to go next? You have no idea, you're in the middle of nowhere and they're like, on the, oh shit, police. Uh. See, these motherfuckers are everywhere. All right, uh, so, um. Somebody said that I always talk about police when I'm driving. Y'all thought I was lying? This is Blacksburg, they're fucking everywhere. But all right, so, what was I saying? Yeah, so you, you won't know where you're going because you forgot your past. You, so you'll be stuck on the road, like, damn, where am I going? It's not until your memory comes back. You remember, oh, I came from New York, I was going to Atlanta. Okay, now you know where to go. And we are people, we know history. Why? Because like I said, it was removed from us. Because when you colonize the people, the masters, to keep you slaves, to keep you under them, they remove your history because they know with history, with knowing your past comes a sense of dignity and pride. You know, once you remove somebody's history, you remove their dignity, you remove their pride, and now they become followers, they become sheep. They're easily to bend, they're easily bent to your will. So, so now, so let's backtrack there. They removed that history, right? They, uh, uh, they made us, you know, they didn't want to tell us about it. They, they taught us fucking um, a European history, uh, Western civilization history, everything except African history, right? So we, so you have a group of people taken from their homeland, removed of their history, removed their pride and dignity, they have no idea where they're going now. And that's exactly what the masses wanted them because if you don't know where you're going then they can easily tell you, hey, I'm your boss, you a nobody, you an animal, you're not a human being, that, that. and you're gonna believe it because you have nothing to hold on to, you know? You have no vision. 
And I, I always talk about being a leader, having vision. If you know vision, knowing what the future holds, or, or creating your own future, you can't do all these things unless you have a foundation, which is your past. So we have we have no future, no history, because without history there's no future. We have no history, no future. We're stuck in the present. Now you have those people giving birth to more black people, right? More black people. And if your father and mother have no history, no dignity, no pride, and they have no future, no vision, no need to to become better, no desire or no ambition, that they're just stuck in the present. What do you think they're gonna pass on to the kids? They're gonna pass on that same virus, that same virus of a lack of self-identity, right? The next kids are gonna get older and become just like their parents, you know, raise a child in a way that, you know, uh, they're gonna become just like their parents and then they're gonna have kids and then their kids are gonna have kids. And now you end up down with the 21st century where you got black people everywhere in America that have no history, no dignity, no pride and no future. I mean, what the fuck you think they're gonna do, right? Humans, we have a, we have an innate, we're born with this desire to stand out, we're born with this desire to be recognized, we want to be accepted. Black, white, albino, whatever you are, aliens, right? We want to be accepted. And when we have no um, no means of, of you know, uh, when we have no, no past and no identity, we try even harder to prove ourselves and we start doing dumb things. For example, um, I used to work with kids. The kids that were good in school and they had A's and they, or their parents would pat them on the head and say, good kid, good kid. They had no, they had no desire to show off in class. They would just come, keep their head all up by, you know, they had that dignity. But the kids that were doing bad in school and we kept being told, hey, you nothing, you will never be anything. They would come to class and they would, they would start misbehaving because they, they wanted attention. They were like, okay, I don't have an identity. I'm seen as this loser kid. I don't want to be the loser kid. Let me try to get as much attention as I can. So subconsciously, they would, they would misbehave. And adults, we're not any different than children. We, we're just growing up kids, you know? Um, so black people everywhere in America are constantly looking for identity without even knowing it. And it's manifested in the way that they act, you know? Uh, and, and like I said, because we're slaves and followers, we're made to be followers through slavery, uh, we, we, we bred generations of followers. And as you can notice now, I mean, look at most black people. They see a, a, a hip hop star wear fucking, um, I don't know, a pink band, I don't know, anything, right? They just start copying it, anything. You, you have a hip hop celebrity do the dumbest thing. In a year or two, everybody's gonna start doing it, you know, because th that's how they were programmed, you know, by society, by the government, because somebody who's, uh, who has no identity is easy to mold. You know, so so that's that's one of the main reasons why black people act the way they act. That's the reason why. See, now, now, I don't judge them when I look at them now. Now my, I long for them. I, I I love my black people. I love them now because I'm like, wow, man. Like even me, Africans are not any fucking different. You know, we're colonized in Africa too. Don't you know? Don't get it twisted. So even if you go to Africa, it's a shame because everyone in Africa is trying to be fucking European. You know, no 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 um no offense to Europeans because you know the generation of today, you guys had nothing to do with it. I can't, blame, I can't blame, blame me for for what your parents did. And like I said, I don't judge anybody regardless, white or black. If the tables were turned and black people were ruling the world, we would have done the same thing to white people. So I'm not, you know, getting angry at the evil that white people did. You know, black people did even, you know, it's relative. We, we did the same thing to each other and to, to other races. It's human nature. So anyway, so um, even in Africa, you go to Africa, it's a shame because our, even our culture is down in Africa. Africans are trying to be Europeans. You go to Africa, you see the motherfuckers you know, wearing skinny jeans. You see them wearing everything European. Look at me. Do I look? Do I, am I? You see a dashiki on me, nigga? You know, it's it's just that's the way we were programmed. You know, even our parents. I, I was mad at my parents at one point because they were trying to in Africa. The more the more un-African you are, the more cool you are. So even our parents wouldn't they, they wouldn't speak to us in the African language. You know, and I, like I said, I don't blame them either. I mean, um, they they were trying to keep us as European as possible. You know, without knowing that 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 killed our culture. That made us. You know that pushed us deeper down the hole so africans in africa african americans in america black people everywhere in the world it's the same problem if you can't even go to africa your homeland and know your history because everyone in your homeland is trying to become european where are you going to know your history so now we stuck floating in the present we always stuck in the present that's why there's very few black leaders because to be a leader you have to have vision and to have vision you must have a past you must have history we stuck in the present so it's hard for us to to, to breed leaders, you know, when we do breed leaders, you know, I'm not saying it's impossible, when we do, look what happens to them, you know? So, uh, you gotta understand where black people are coming from, you know, stop pointing fingers, stop thinking that black people are douchebags, we're not, you know, you gotta look at the big picture, try to understand why, you know? Uh, you know, it's, if the tables were turned, black people would be the same way, you take white people, you colonize them, and you, you remove their identity and all that shit, make them slaves, and, and have them breed 
children, you know, they have the same, they're in the same predicament, they're gonna be the same, you know? They're gonna be out of control, they're gonna be gangsters, they're gonna be thugs, they're gonna constantly try to be accepted. So, you know, you can't really, you can't, you can't hate my brothers, you know what I'm saying? And I call them my brothers because they're my brothers. You can't hate them, you know? Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I see the way a lot of African Americans act and I'm disgusted, women and men. I'm like, damn, son, have some fucking dignity, but I can't judge them. It's not their fucking fault, you know? You know, they're, they're in the projects, they're in the ghetto, uh, they're seen as like the, the fucking scum of society, you know, that this, that, and the government, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but it's trying to keep a lot of people, a lot of black people, um, the way they are for different reasons. I don't want to, you know, go, you know, go into the detail, but hey, what can we do? The only way black people will, will arise, my dream is for black people literally to have a sense of dignity, not to take over the world, fuck that, just to have a sense of dignity, which will only come through knowing their history, knowing the kings of old. I said in the video before that everyone that's alive today has a king in, in, a, in his bloodline. I don't care who you are. For you to have survived this long, yes, you have a slave in your bloodline somewhere, but you have one or more kings, and it's, it's guaranteed because kings have so many fucking women and they will fuck left and right, and then their children will go and fuck other children. You have, you know, royal, you know, royal blood in you. So at least, at least uh, be convicted of that. Be convicted that you have royal blood in you. And even though you have, you know, you have uh, slaves in your past, you also have kings in your past. And try to, try to honor that, you know. Uh, the kid of a, of, a, of a kid. See, if a king that has a child, if a king has a child, his son is going to try to be either a king or an emperor. He's not going to try to be a peasant. He's going to try to either be like his dad or better than his dad. That's not the case with us. We were children of slaves. A, a child of a slave is either going to try to be a better slave or, or just, uh, you know, just free. You know? So he's either going to look in the present, oh, yeah, I'm a slave, I'm going to try to be a good slave, or he's going to think, let me try to be free. So he can only see this far. Well, the child of a king is going to, you know, his, his sight is going to be a lot higher. So look how that sets us back, you know? But anyway, uh, this video is too long. It's 12 minutes long. I didn't expect it to be that long. It's just a message to black people out there. Know your history. Even if you can't find it, just just know what I said. Just believe what I said earlier that you have some kind of royal, dignified blood in you. Use that. Develop your own self, your own sense of self identity. Be yourself, and and rise above the um, the negative expectations of society. And for and to the non-blacks out there that are racist or that that, that hate black people for whatever reason, I'm not I'm not trying to change your views because you know you, you have your own opinion, whatever. I'm just trying to tell you try to understand us. Try to understand where we're coming from. Don't. And, you know, the reason why I, I, I don't want to be angry at people that hate black people is because a lot of these people, a lot of these kids got jumped by black people. A lot of these kids got harassed by black people. So they think we all the same. So I don't, you know, I'm not, you know, I understand, I understand where you're coming from. I'm just saying, try to understand us too, you know. Uh, not, not, I'm not saying what they did was justified, but, you know, grow hard to love and understand. And uh, hopefully the, this world we, will, um, will be what we want it to be. Uh... Is it going to come anytime soon? I don't know. I'm not going to make that promise, but as long as I'm alive, I'm going to try my best not to judge, to keep an open mind, and to uh, to ensure the survival of my race, which is the human race, not the black race, and, um, and my people. All right, guys, remember, Team 3D Alpha, don't let the alpha die.